festivals are great. Everybody's out there having a great time, and you get to meet the other guys in the bands. You hang out with them. You talk about it, and you know, and and uh, it just seems to be a, a really cool time. We, we love doing the festivals. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. So, what's going to be the set list like? It, it's it's going to be uh, well. I think it's going to be pretty hitting, you know, pretty hard and hitting, yeah. you know, and we're probably going to go out there and be very aggressive, um, play more of our aggressive numbers, because um, that's just, uh, that's the kind of environment that this, this, that's the other thing too, is we can acclimate ourselves to what we feel that show represents, you know, the, the other kinds of bands that are on the show, the kinds of people that will come to a show like that that's best for us to kind of tap in to those kind of songs that we write mm -hmm. and present ourselves to those people with those songs so that we all stay kind of in the same vein, the same headspace, you know, instead of coming out and playing our softer numbers or our more progressive numbers or our more, um, you know, it's just, it, it just kind of keeps everything uh, with the day, with, with that whole festival yeah. mind, mindset. So what kind of uh, rituals do you have on, on tour, I mean, what, what do you do right before you, you go to the stage? Yeah, well, I do a few things. Um, you know, I'll have tea and honey. I'll be drinking tea and honey. I'll have uh, orange juice. I always make sure I drink a half a cup of orange juice. Um, I take this stuff, it's called Immunicol, and it's a, an immune booster. Mm -hmm. And I take that every day. I uh, take two packages of that every day, and it's, it just really kind of keeps me away from being sick. Yeah. I've only started that in the last six months and I mm -hmm. felt such a difference. It's wow. incredible how this stuff makes me feel. And um, and then I also drink a lot of, a lot of water and then I, I warm up. I warm up about 20 minutes before the show. I'll start doing my Kleb scales, yeah. that they're called. And um, and then I'll, uh, then I'll just, I do a, a bunch of uh, stretching exercises. Mm -hmm. And then I get myself into that zone and I go on stage, you know. Um, and vitamins, you know, I'm always doing yeah, B12, yeah. I'm doing zinc tablets, mm -hmm. uh, vitamin C tablets, uh, stuff like that. Just to kind of, because, you know, the thing is, is when you're on tour, you're in different time zones all the time. Yeah. You're constantly traveling. I mean, you're in and out of cities, bang, 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 every day. And um, so the key is, is to kind of keep your body um, in, in its optimum shape so that anything, any kind of virus trying to make you sick or really tired, you, you can kind of dissuade that whole situation and I mean what is real vital for someone like me and I'm sure it is for everybody in the band but I've always said to vocalists you know it's really important that a vocalist gets at least 10 hours sleep a night and so that's the other thing I do to yeah. keep myself up and keep myself in shape and then I guess the other guys have their own rituals I know that they're practicing like John Petrucci and John my young are practicing a, a good hour or two before they go on stage yeah. you know and same with Jordan he's always like loosening up and And Mike has his own uh, thing, you know, like he'll, he'll have like a pad set, you know, yeah. and kind of warm up a bit just before going on stage, you know, kind of stretches, does all that kind of stuff. But yeah, we all have our own thing that we know, you know, after doing it this long, you have a, a certain a system that works and you know that if you keep with that, yeah. it works. And I don't know if it, if it becomes a superstition because <laughs> if you don't do it, you feel a little bit out of sorts, you know, when you go on stage. So I always make sure that you put that time aside. 